What's going on guys? Dubs here back with another runescape guide. Today we are going to be taking a look at the deranged archaeologist and how to defeat him. So let's just jump right into it. For your equipment and your items you'll need to bring with you, the deranged archaeologist is weak to magic attacks. He has an extremely low magic level, making him susceptible to magic damage. So I'll be bringing along full arms, the top robes, and rope top. Also be bringing Aldinus's ward and a trident of the swap, an imbued god cape, occult necklace, war blessing, seer's ring imbued, and tormented bracelet. If you do not have any of this magic gear or you don't have a trident of the swap, you can always swap out for an Iban staff and a tome of fire. Or if you don't have those, you could use a tome of water and a water spell of your choice with a water staff. Really, whatever works. You won't be taking too much damage during this fight, so it's also, if you're interested in saving on supplies, you could bring along the proselyte armor to get a higher prayer bonus to stop your prayer from draining as quickly, or you could even bring along a skill cape for a larger prayer bonus as well to save on your prayers, but I'm just going to be bringing along arms robes and a god cape and a trident of the swamp and just doing as much damage as possible. All right, now let's take a look at what inventory you'll need to be bringing with you. I'll be bringing along an anti-poison, because you can get poisoned on the way there, as well as a stamina potion for the run, and six prayer potions. You might be able to do with less or more prayer potions, depending on your level. Definitely less if you're bringing along the proselyte armor to save on resources there. And I'm also going to be bringing along 12 sharks to extend my trip, just in case I take any damage. You will need a rake and an axe. Any axe will do. I'll be bringing along a dragon axe. But you'll need an axe to cut your way through the swamps to reach the boss. I'll also be bringing along a divine rune pouch or a regular rune pouch, if that's all you have, works fine too, to cast high alchemy. There, the boss drops a nice amount of alchemals, so to save on inventory space, bring alk runes with you to extend your trips. And that's all you'll need for your inventory, so let's take a look at how to get to the deranged archaeologist. I highly recommend using a dig site pendant teleport. The dig site pendant teleport will, when you rub it, teleport you just outside of the barge to get to Fossil Island. You can just talk to the barge guard right here, and he'll immediately just transport you right to where I was essentially, on Fossil Island, right next to the bank location. So, you've got yourself all geared, you're at the bank, you've got your inventory set, you've teleported here, so we can just go ahead and deposit the dig site pendant, won't be needing it anymore to save inventory space. And let's pull up our maps to look at how to get to the deranged archaeologist. You'll want to be running west and then south, he is at the southernmost part of the swamp. So you'll know you're there once you run all the way south and you have to jump over a log. That log will be the entrance to the boss area. So I will see you guys there, or you can stick along and follow me as I run there. Alright, so we've managed to run all the way here, and this is the log you will climb over, this decaying trunk to start the boss fight. Alright guys, so let's just jump into it with our first fight. You're going to want to turn on Protect from Missiles and Augury if you have it. Not required, but just might as well overkill him and fly through the fight real quick. Hit him with some spells. It's a straightforward fight, super easy. Anytime you see Learn to Read, you're just going to run several tiles to the any direction, just away from where you're standing. And then you're just going to sit here and hit him again. And just go ahead and cast your mage spells. Super easy, super chill. And he's dead. There's the first kill. Blue path key, not bad, and some bones. Let's bury the bones, pay some respect, and get ready for the next fight. Show you guys a couple kills here. That way we can, uh, you can know what's happening. Again, protect from... Oh, learn to read right off start. Let's run away a few tiles from those explosions. Oh, that one still touched me a little bit. 
He'll just keep saying text above his head the entire time, randomly, and any time he says, learn to read, run away. Keeping it going. Is he even going to say it this time? He's flying down. There we go. There we go. Learn to read. Boom. And we're just going to run several tiles away. And just keep maging him. And there it is, another kill. 50k in Onyx Bolt Tips, some Pneumolite, some more bones. Alright, let's bury the bones, pay respect, and get ready for the next kill. Learn to read. Run to the other side. And go ahead and start hitting him again. And the Deranged Archaeologist is really that easy. That's all there is to it. I'm going to keep killing him for an hour and show you guys what kind of loot I have after an hour of killing him. And we'll be back after that. Alright guys, we just finished killing the deranged archaeologist for one hour. Let's take a look at our loot tracker and see what we ended up coming out with. Alright, we came out with 51 kills in that hour for a total of 573,000 gold. Not too bad, not too bad at all. Not the greatest money maker out there, but definitely a good one for any early level account. If you have any tips or tricks that I missed, go ahead and let me know down below in the comments. Or if you have any other RuneScape boss guides you'd like to see in the future, let me know. And I'd be glad to make them for you. But as always, game on my friends, and I'll see you next time.